Tucson Unified Community, I'm your proud superintendent, Dr. Gabriel Trujillo, with the very latest update on tonight's governing board meeting. Let's kick it off with congratulations to our wonderful educators and learning communities at Choya, Catalina, Utterback, and Doolin, four district schools that have achieved the highest level of excellence inside of AVID programming. They are four AVID schools of distinction. I want to congratulate all of those wonderful learning communities for this incredible achievement. And in a huge victory for the employees of the Tucson Unified School District, especially our employees who are embarking on that beautiful journey of parenthood for the first or the second or the third time, uh, we are proud tonight to have a governing board that approved the state's first K-12 school district policy providing paid parental leave for uh, our employees that are out uh, and beginning those parenthood journeys. So we're very, very excited to now officially be a historic school district in bringing this wonderful benefit uh, to the employees of our district. Also, our governing board took action tonight to purchase 95, that's it, we'll have 95 total portable air condition units that will also serve as heaters during the heating season coming up here as temperatures continue to drop. Currently we have 20 in stock as the district has struggled to keep up with the amount of classroom outages during this cooling season. We are proud to now have this additional resource to help our teachers who find themselves in a hot classroom and we're not able to get to you right away. Now every school will be able to have a portable AC unit and get this it's not a fan it is a Freon based portable heating and cooling unit that will be able to provide real-time air conditioning in your classroom as opposed to the fans that we've distributed they'll also work of course in the winter uh, and they will help us as we continue on our journey to make sure that all 65 schools that are slated to have new heating and cooling systems as a part of our bond as we complete that installation schedule over the next 12 to 13 months. Also, I wanna congratulate our partners from Camp Cooper uh, for all of the beautiful renovations that are going on. If you have not been out to Camp Cooper, it is Southern Arizona's premier environmental learning center. And thanks to the generosity of the Golding family, Miss Peggy Golding and her dearly departed husband, Steve Golding, the family's generosity leading to almost $2 million in private donations from the Golding family coming into Cap Cooper to help make these renovations, the first of their kind in over 50 years, a reality. In honor of that generosity, our governing board took action tonight to name the new walkway into the main camp at Camp Cooper in honor of the Goldings. Lastly, we welcome two new members of the governing board's Alternative Education Committee to the committee this evening. I want to congratulate them on their appointments. And as always, if you did not catch our governing board meeting tonight, weren't able to be down here in person, got busy, didn't see it, you can always catch the replay on the governing board's website. And for all things TUSD, check us out on all of our socials, Instagram, X, Facebook. We'll see you next time.